Hello, my name is Megan Thurlson, and today we'll be making our own gingerbread traps. But first, I would like to read you a story. This book is called The Gingerbread Man, and the story is retold by Bev Evans. Once upon a time, there was a little old woman and a little old man who lived in a little cottage. One day, the little old lady decided to make a gingerbread man. The little old man got the oven ready and the little old lady started baking. The little old lady carefully placed her gingerbread man in the oven to bake. Soon there was noise coming from the oven. It was the gingerbread man. He ran out of the oven and straight out the front door. Let me out! Stop little gingerbread man, cried the little old man and the little old woman, but the gingerbread man would not stop. The gingerbread man did not want to be eaten. So he, so he shouted, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And off he ran all the way along the lane to the garden gate. Soon he came to a cow's field. You look tasty, said the cow. I think I'll eat you for tea. You first have to catch me, shouted the gingerbread man. Run, run as fast as you can. I, you can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. At the edge of the stream stood an old sly fox. Why are you running away, said the sly fox. They all wanted to eat me, said the gingerbread man. I think I need to cross the stream. I can help you, said the fox. You can hold on to my tail while I swim across. And that's just what the gingerbread man did. I am so pleased I met you, exclaimed the gingerbread man. They had been swimming for a while when all of a sudden, my feet are getting wet, shouted the gingerbread man. Then jump on my back, said the sly fox. They swam a little further. Oh no, I'm getting wet again. Well, jump on my ears, replied the sly fox. But the gingerbread man was still getting wet. Eventually the sly fox said, why don't you just jump on my nose? So the gingerbread man jumped, but, just as he did, the sly fox tossed the gingerbread man high into the air and ate him up in one big bite. The end. So the gingerbread man was caught by the fox when he was eventually tricked. But are there other ways that you could catch a gingerbread man? In this exercise, we're going to think of a few. Hmm, that gingerbread man sure sounds, sounds tasty, but I'm not a fox, so I'm going to need some other way to catch him. So what do I have that I can use to catch a gingerbread man? Well, I have a lot of stuff around my house. I have a lot of recycled materials. I have tape and glue and arts and crafts supplies. But now, how do I trap them? Well, as engineers, we often get inspiration from existing solutions. So what are some current traps that you guys know about? Well, there's the trap door. Trap doors are holes that open at the bottom. So when the gingerbread man steps on it, it will open in surprise and leave him waiting so that I can have my delicious snack. There's a net. The net could cause the gingerbread man to become tangled and as he runs as fast as he can, he'll get more tangled. And there's sticky traps. A lot of designs come from nature, and this one's no different. Think about a spider web and what happens when a bug lands in a spider web. So what if I had a sticky trap for a gingerbread man? Are there any other traps that you can come up with? Once you've come up with your trap, Use the, the recycled materials and other materials you gathered from your house to create a prototype. You will then use a cutout of the gingerbread man to showcase your designs. I can't wait to see your designs and taste your yummy, yummy gingerbread man.